guys so it is 4 15 p.m and we are on our way out to dinner and i am like so like nervous and anxious right now but babe is behind the wheel hello and how are you feeling are you excited i'm i don't know what to say i'm i'm excited but i'm i'm over excited to where i just can't feel excited i mean it, it's hard to explain no that's that's what i was saying in my um video i just recorded that's already on my channel mm -hmm. but it's just it's just different because, it's, yeah because the other time it was the other way and now this time and i just heard his heartbeat three minutes ago and i tell you it's just it's just it's, it's unreal it, it's just going to be unreal until until it's all over yeah so we're that going to anyway. eat and um we go to the hospital they asked us to be there first she said 6 30 then she called back and said could we be there at six so um we don't really spend a lot we're gonna go to texas roadhouse but my sister and my brother-in-law are here which is super nice and we're just gonna go and see how the process is and we're gonna take you along with us because you've been there throughout this whole entire pregnancy and before so we're super excited and i'll see you when we get to the restaurant bye so we are leaving texas row house with my brother jason and okay he wants to be difficult and then my brother-in-law robert is here and then my sister Shade. oh my bad and then of course my husband and so we're about to go to the hospital so we are here at the hospital we just parked here it is behind us. We are on the stork floor for labor and delivery. I did not really eat anything at Texas Roadhouse. <sighs> I'm nervous and I'm trying not to cry, but I'm nervous. But I've got my handsome husband walking. We didn't pack the whole village, you guys, but partially because we know induction can take a long time. And then that's my sister and brother-in-law coming to support and Super excited, so let's get checked in. I need to see how much stuff I'm allowed to record, and then I will come back in once we get checked in and we're in the room. Guess what, guys? It's induction day. I think we might be making that word up. We're getting induced. Okay, and this is the hospital that we both were born in. It looks a lot different. This is our induction team. She's gonna wear her bracelet. Josiah, this is your mother putting her bracelet on. I like to call it the Party Central bracelet. Okay. Say hi, Mom. She's excited, we're all excited. Uncle Robert, say hello. You will learn Uncle Robert likes his snacks. Love Uncle <laughs> He's nice and fluffy and he feels you warm. Don't, know I'm talking and I'm probably gonna get don't edit our video. It's gonna be too long and you're gonna run out of space. So you need to keep it brief. Okay, we're gonna cut off in a minute and a half. Say hi dad. Hey, say, baby say, boy. Say hi to Jabba Jaws. How are you? Camera. Your Uncle Robert's rude, but your dad's not. <laughs> Hey you guys, so it is the next morning. I am in the bed, I'm all hooked up. I got that, let's see if you can see it. The IV in my arm. Turns out I was positive for strep B, so I've had two doses of antibiotics, and I've had three doses of Cytotec, and I am a whopping one centimeter dilated. I'm currently over here like doing some editing contractions are not bad whatsoever at this point i'm waiting for my obg to go on call he'll go on call in about 25 minutes 
and he can let me know what's next. I don't know if I'm dilated. I wouldn't have my next dose of side attack until um, eight. And then hopefully after that, he'll be able to break my water and start the Pitocin. So it's been a long process, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, I was able to go to sleep for a long stretch, like three and a half hours, which was wonderful. And now I'm just watching the news and trying to relax because it's almost morning. Yeah, the sun's about to come up. So I'm probably gonna get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I will let you guys know what the doctor says, hopefully here in the half an hour. So it is 8, 17, and probably like 10 minutes ago, um, my doctor, who's the one who's on call, he broke my water and they are about to hook me up to Pitocin. They're gonna start it off low because I'm already having contractions. Um, and I'm one and a half centimeters dilated. So after 12 hours, that's as much as I've progressed, but we think once the water breaks, sorry if you can't see me, um, the things are really going to pick up. I did go back to sleep for like another 45 minutes to an hour. I feel like I'm having a contraction right now, but they're not super bad. I have not had an epidural yet, trying to see how I feel, but it is daylight now, so that makes a difference. And now it's just Curtis and I patiently waiting. <sighs> and hopefully by early this afternoon, we have a baby. Um, we have Josiah, so. Anyway, I'm trying to keep you guys posted, but we are slightly tired and just trying to rest up. So I'm actually up, you guys. Um, brushed my teeth then washed my face and they up my Pitocin. I am having contractions, but they're not really like reading on the screen back there. And that's where baby boy is going to be taken to. His heart rate has been excellent. Um, my water came out clear. Um, it was leaking for quite some time. And so I just had to take a break for a minute. Um, I posted two videos while I've been at the hospital. <sighs> Wonderful husband is still holding down the fort with me. We're watching some movie with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Anderson. And it is, what time is it? It is nine, around 9.40. And so the doctor keeps saying we're gonna have a baby today, but he didn't say what time in the day this evening. This evening. So we're just trying to stay positive. Um, I don't know about you, like this is my stomach with the monitors on there. I felt like my stomach went down tremendously when my water broke. So I tried the birthing ball for a little bit. I feel like it's just sitting too low. Um, she's up in my Pitocin. I'm still leaking, my water's still leaking. So I'm just going to, I guess, try to use the bed to brace myself. I'm having back contractions and it's just tiring me out. So I've gotta switch the camera. Jesus, Lord, these contractions are something serious, but it's good. We're trying to, I guess I'm gonna try to at least get to six centimeters without any epidural or anything. That's my goal, so we'll see. We'll just go from there. She's gonna do something in 10 minutes. So we'll see what's going on. Let me figure out why this keeps beeping. Okay, it is 2.05 and Sasha is four centimeters. She just got her epidural. She is awake. She looks asleep, but she's she's still awake. Um, Wave real quick. All right. Yeah. Okay. 
This is Sade, her sister recording. Her husband Curtis is in the room. I'm going to cry. Did you cry? Yeah. Cried. Curtis yeah. is in the room. Hello. Push your feet back, Rob. Robert is in the room. Uncle Robert. Looking like a chocolate panda. Stop it, Aunt Sade. Sorry. Huh? You know you could have just set the stand on the ground. Again, it's about 2.05. Dad, which is Josiah's dad, his bet was that Josiah was going to be here at 11. He lost. I lost. Uncle Robert's bet was 11.22. He lost. Yeah. And my time was between 12 and 2. So it's now 2.05. So I lost as well. Yeah. Sasha's time. <clears throat> Sasha's time is between two and six. So she's still got hope left. So um, we're going to check back in with you guys probably in an hour or two. Probably two. And see what's going on. Talk to you later. Bye.